here tonight because at our February meeting, the group, the Common Ground people, the people who are enrolled in Common Ground, said we need to open this up to people, even people who are not signed up for the program and doing the monthly meetings and all of that, we need to make it more public. So tonight is our first public meeting open to anyone, whether you're familiar with Common Ground or not. In the real, true Common Ground program, you're matched up with a partner who looks different from you, and then you meet with that person monthly. You talk about race, you talk about family, you talk about traditions, you talk about culture, you get to know each other. So we've had a lot of fun and met a lot of nice people, and then I met a lot of people through people in Common Ground that we have um, gone and had some wine with, um, and we've gone to other social events together and hung out, and uh, it's a blast. I really have a good time with it. I think if I hadn't been part of this and met Lori, I probably wouldn't have gone there again. Mm -hmm. I think the Lori part of the while I was there. And so some know. walls came down. Huh? Some walls came down. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he said we look different. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's, a whole, it's a whole common part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere I've lived as an adult, I was the first black on the block. <laughs> And they moved out. <laughs> you know, that doesn't make you feel too welcome. Know anybody? Like I know her, I just love her. <laughs> it's a feeling inside of me that is so special. I, I'm gonna start to cry. I'm emotional. Oh, oh, oh. Sharon oh, she couldn't tell the difference between whose hand was up. Put your hand up. <laughs> tell each other everything yeah. about everything. She asked me about tight, school. We're tight now. Yeah. If, if she's no longer my friend, I have to kill her. <laughs> she knows too yeah, much. Yeah, we know too much. We know too much. We know too much. Yeah. Know too much. Yeah. All right, so that is Common Ground, kind of a basic introduction. Um, and that is the first of ways we're going to talk about to build community this summer. <laughs> So that's number one, common ground. But there are more ways to build community here. Number two, this is an easy one, something you can do this summer. Attend something at Fox Point. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Rita was just telling us, as if we didn't know about Fox Point, she was telling us how great it is. Fox Point is Lansing's concert venue. I do want to say I met a couple from Dyer. And, and Dyer, I'm familiar with, with their big houses, they don't have a venue there. I'm like, you have to come here? But okay, you're welcome. <laughs> so it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. The weather's fine, the music's fine, the people are great from what I've experienced. Um, so all long bring the lawn chair. It is just a wonderful blanket. time in the summer, and, um, and it's free. I like that. Yeah, I see you said it about that. Yeah. <laughs> Free. My tax dollars. It's nice because it's, it's right here in town. You don't have to go to the city. Because I know we like, you know, my husband and I, we like to go to the city and stuff like that. But it's nice. We don't have to drive far. It's right here. We we get friends from like um, different parts of Indiana as well. So they come out here. And it's, we always meet up on Wednesdays, like get together. But it's, it's a really good time. It seems like everybody knows each other. Number three, this one is not as fun as Fox Point but it is easy, I'm going to say another way to build community is to attend village board meetings. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good point. It is a good point. And if we want to be part of this friendly community that doesn't charge people to park their cars, um, I think that we probably should know more about what's going on because you really shouldn't complain about something if you didn't go find out about it in the first place. Six trustees and the mayor, but also uh, the village administrator, all the department heads, the, the head of public works, the chief of police, Al, he's a common grounder, uh, the fire chief, the human relations director, um, everybody who is working for you in your village is at these meetings. So you get to know who's doing what, you get to know what's being talked about, you get to know where your money is going, 
and all those people are in charge of like the infrastructure that makes community possible. And I think they would be surprised and delighted to see a lot of new people in the audience. So village board meetings are on what, the first and third Tuesdays? First and third Tuesdays every month, most months. 7 p.m. at the police station on 170th in the courtroom. All right, so we have Common Ground, Fox Point, Village Board Meetings, and fourth, um, Organize a Block Party. Um, did that once. Yes! The Stallingas organized a block party in their block. Yes. Talk People about People on the other end of the block would, we had no idea who they were. Um, you can wave now. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a lot of times they'll come down the alley and we'll stop and chat for 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. But just before we had a block party, I had no idea what they were. Yeah. Uh, we've been in the same house for people. quite a while. Yes, 20 yeah. years. The, there's only like four families or three families left in the block that have been as long as we have. So we're thinking about people, another one this summer. I mean, they're coming in and out, and I just, you know, so now the block party is a great, I mean, it was. Everybody talked about it. We, we were going to keep it simple and do hot dogs and bratwurst. Oh, yeah. We had so much. There was, Juan brought out oh. chicken and <laughs> cheesecakes came flying out. And so, so, well, we invited our kids. Yeah. We invited our kids. Thing, yeah. And I'm like, well, then we're going to invite our kids. So <laughs> somebody rented a house. I mean, it was fabulous. So it's not like there was a lot of tension in your neighborhood ahead of time. You no. just didn't really interact with each other. No. I mean, yeah, you know, life was fine. Yeah, life was good. We didn't do. We did. I think maybe something from church. They might have said, "Get to know your neighbors," and so. So you jumped into having a black bird. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see what's happening in the partnerships, in the conversations, and I want that kind of that mini community to, to be spread in the broader community. All right, thank you all.